Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression. We're given that x over x squared plus 1 is equal to a, and we're supposed to evaluate or find the value of x squared over x to the fourth plus 1 in terms of a. I'll be presenting at least two methods, and one of the methods will be a little longer than others. All right, let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation. Since this whole thing is equal to a, let's cross multiply ax squared plus a equals x. And let's bring the x over ax squared minus x plus a equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, isn't it? So we can solve it using the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and use it, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, a and c are both a, so it's going to be 4a squared, subtract from 1, and all of that is divided by 2a. All right, awesome. So this is my x values, or should I say x values. There are two values, plus and minus signs, well distinguish. So which one should we use? It shouldn't matter. Let's go ahead and use the one with the plus sign. So I want to use the, the more positive one. Now, since x is equal to that, and we're trying to evaluate x squared over x to the fourth plus 1, I should be able to find x squared and x to the fourth from here and just substitute. So to find x squared, let's square both sides. This is what we're trying to find. And now x squared becomes, if you square the numerator, 1, 1 minus 4a squared, a squared uh, x squared and y squared, or a squared and b squared, and then 2ab is just going to be 2 times this. And of course, all of that is going to be divided by the denominator squared, which is 4a squared. We could simplify this a little bit because 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, so everything is pretty much even. We can divide everything by 2. That's going to give us 1 minus 2a squared plus the square root of 1 minus 4a squared. All of that is divided by 2a squared, right? Because we squared it, it's going to be a squared. So this is my x squared. How do you find x to the fourth power? To find x to the fourth, we're going to square both sides. So let's go ahead and square this. Okay, let's go ahead and square this expression. I'm going to go ahead and square both sides, so we'll get x to the fourth. And x to the fourth, now we have three terms, you can either treat these two together and write it that way, or just use the formula for a plus b plus c squared. I'll use the formula for a, a squared b squared c squared, so it's going to be 1 plus 4a to the fourth i squared, the first term, the second term, and the last one is going to be 1 minus 4a squared. And then I do the two-way products with the two in front of it, so it's going to be like minus 4a squared, and then it'll be plus 2 times the square root of this expression, minus 4a squared times the radical, okay? And all of that is divided by 4a to the fourth power, because we're squaring 2a squared again, all right? So, this can be simplified as well, right? For example, these two are like terms, these two are like terms, so on and so forth. And think about it, this is going to give you a 2, this is going to give you a negative 8a squared, and then everything can be divided by 2. So in the simplest form, this is going to give you 1 plus 2a to the 4th, because I divided by 2, minus 4a squared, plus square root of 1 minus 4a squared, minus 2a squared times the square root of 1 minus 4a squared, all of that is divided by 2a to the 4th. So this is a x to the 4th power, and this is x squared. So we're going to go ahead and plug those in. Uh, basically, we'll put it together, right? Our goal is to evaluate x to the 4th divided by x squared plus 1. So you may want to do the x squared plus 1 first. Let's just like add 1 to this. If you add 1 to it, something interesting is going to happen. Let me show you. Let's make some room here. If you add 1 to it, x squared plus 1 is going to be 1 minus 2a squared plus the square root of 1 minus 4a squared plus 2a squared, 
over 2a squared because 1 is 2a squared over 2a squared and these two are gonna cancel out leaving us with something a little simpler uh, which is a little nicer you know and then we're gonna go ahead and plug this in now when we plug this in the denominator we still have this in the numerator and notice that a lot of things can be simplified but it's gonna be a very messy expression so I'm going to leave this as is just incomplete and proceed with the second method because second method is actually awesomer than the first method right but think about it do you think this expression can be simplified to get what we want at the end and you'll see what I'm talking about when we finish the second method all right because the second method is obviously going to give us a nicer uh, result okay so we have x over x squared plus one equals a and our goal is to evaluate x squared divided by x to the fourth plus one and that needs to be in terms of a by the way this could be considered a homemade problem because i just thought about it but i've seen similar problems so it's not completely homemade anyways you get the idea if this problem appeared anywhere else please let me know uh, i'll be more than happy to know notice that there is a relationship between the numerator and the denominator first of all this is x to the first power this is x to the second power you got that and then if you look at the other one this is x to the second and this is x to the fourth so we have that same type of relationship we square what's in the numerator, but we also add 1. So it's kind of like we square and add 1. Maybe that's relationship, but we want to make it better, obviously. And this can be done by flipping. If you flip this expression, in other words, the reciprocal, you're going to get 1 over a. But this expression is actually going to equal to x plus 1 over x because it's separable, right? You see that? And then you can kind of separate it like this. And guess what? If you flip the second one too, just flip it. I mean, we don't care what it is at this moment. But if you flip it, you're going to get the following. Hmm, that's interesting because x plus 1 over x and x squared plus 1 over x squared are very much related. They're closely related. And what I can do is square both sides. So let's go ahead and get rid of these frames and square both sides. That's going to give us what we want. And from here we get x squared plus 1 over x squared. Of course, there's an extra 2 from 2ab equals 1 over a squared. And now we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. That's going to give us this. And I can make a common denominator. And finally, this expression can be, you know, you can make a common denominator and get this. But notice that the expression we're looking for is the reciprocal of this. There you go. That's the reciprocal. So let's go ahead and flip both sides and we're going to get what we need and is there a third way to do it you're going to let me know uh, do you think the first method is going to give us the exact same answer you're going to let me know and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye